Some Ocean City arrests are sparking controversy tonight after a confrontation between beachgoers and police was all caught on camera. That's right. It's video here you can see and you see this officer pushing a pregnant woman down to the ground. Hours later, she had an emergency C-section. Jeff Goldberg talked to the police and the Woodbridge men involved in this confrontation. He's in our newsroom now to tell us a story about what happened there. Jeff? Well, Leon, this happened at 2.30 Sunday afternoon. The beach packed at North Division Street in Ocean City. A group of nearly 30 people say they had just gotten to the beach when they were harassed and assaulted, but police have a very different perspective about what happened. The video picks up with loud protests, Ocean City officers quietly standing by. It's at this point, according to police, that 25-year-old Abdul Kargbo of Woodbridge begins cursing at yelling at officers, then walking away, leading to this. Officers take down other members of the group, including this woman who is pregnant. The takedowns continue. The woman, meanwhile, later had to have an emergency C-section, but police say she will soon be charged with assault and resisting arrest, along with Abdul Kargbo, 24-year-old Musa Sese of Garrisonville, Maryland, and 21-year-old Saidu Kargbo of Woodbridge. We have full confidence at this point that our officers did act appropriately. Lindsay O'Neill with Ocean City Police says it all started with the group yelling, cursing, and disrupting families. She says a lifeguard asked them to tone it down when one of the suspects allegedly threatened him, followed by threats to officers when they arrived. O'Neill says the pregnant woman was assaulting officers prior to being taken down. Any person that assaults a police officer must be detained. We spoke with members of the group today in Woodbridge, but none would talk on camera. They say the police account is totally false, that they were not disruptive, and that the lifeguard made a comment to them they say was consistent with profiling. Also wanted us to point out that they are originally from Sierra Leone, that they have more video of what happened and that they are considering legal action. They would not, however, update us on the condition of the woman who had that emergency C-section. Live in the newsroom, Jeff Goldberg, ABC 7 News. All right.